What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Figure It Out! Never gets old. Out of the Basement's action figure talk show. Today we are going to be doing our <clears throat> top five, but in no particular order, mm. NECA action figure wish list. Of course, I'm Nate. I'm joined with Justin. What's up, guys? And Steven. What's up, guys? We've got a great episode for you. We've got five bangers that we want to see as NECA toys. This list was pretty hard to make, though, mm. uh, just because there's so many options. This is our dream list. We know that NECA can't get the properties to everything and this and that. We know that, so you don't need to say it. But this is our just our dream list. Some of these, I feel like most of these, are pretty realistic. Let's just jump right into it with, like I said, in no particular order, we're gonna start with number five, which is Sam from Trick or Treat. One of my favorite horror movies. Love that little guy. Yeah, we watched it not too long ago. Halloween, was it? Yeah, last Halloween we Man. watched it. I try to watch it every Halloween because it's just that good. But yeah. for those of you who don't know, Trick or Treat, the main one of the main like characters, he's on all the box art, is the little boy Sam. A little pumpkin head. Yeah, spoilers. He's got a little sack on his head, but he's also got a little pumpkin head. And I think that he would make a great addition to the Ultimate line, specifically, um, <clears throat> because I, I look at the Chucky figure, and I'm just like, you just take that head off, put a little sack head on there, you're already mostly there to a Sam figure. Paint the body orange, it's pretty close. So they've already got like a little, a small mold for like a kid-sized action figure. And then, you know, they could include uh, the maybe a removable sack or an alternate head for the pumpkin look. Mm -hmm. Maybe his candy cane that he, or his little sucker that he kills people with. Maybe Dr. Connors can come with the pack. <laughs> oh yeah, he plays the principal in that movie. Uh, yeah, maybe a knife, you know, some other stuff. What, or, yeah, the candy bar with the switchblade. Yeah, I, just, that I would couldn't be, remember what weapons were used. That would be a great accessory. Uh, but yeah, obviously he would fit right in because He's a pretty big horror character. Yeah. There's a lot of love for Sam. I think Mezco has made quite a few figures, not in the 112th line, but like a living dead doll and like some other stylized stuff. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, would really love to see Sam from Trick or Treat. Number four, Buck, your pick. Special Agent Dale Cooper from Twin Peaks. Yeah, uh, I would like to see uh, uh, not just Dale Cooper, but obviously he'd be the number one choice first. Right. But uh, some other characters uh, to get decent uh, action figures put out, and not just those <clears throat> little itty bitty things. That, yeah, from Funko. Yeah, that they want us to pay twenty four ninety nine for. Yeah. Funko. Yeah. They're not Funko Pops, but they're like little three and three quarter inch stupid. I don't know how to describe them. They're kind of like the old school packaged those reaction figures. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it would be really cool. He could come with the alternate bob head. Mm. Uh, spoilers for Twin Peaks, sorry. But uh, maybe a coffee cup, because you know, a damn fine, damn fine coffee. It's what he's always wanted. The tape recorder. Maybe his, his brown overcoat. Yeah. Um, of course, you know, cup of coffee, maybe a cherry pie. Yeah, the classic uh, Dale Cooper lines. Yeah, so. A gun. Yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Just the good stuff. Mm. Either way, uh, I think Dale Cooper is a great choice and I would love to, I would love to see that. And then maybe uh, another figure separate from, you know, OG regular Cooper would be Cooper from the last episode when he's in his pajamas. And then he, you know, he bashes his head in the mirror and you could have the, the blood effect. Hey. You know, and his white eyes. A nice variant, perhaps. Yeah. I'd love to see like a, like a Bobby action figure because, you know, Bobby. Bobby's, yeah. Bobby's the dude. He's so. Bobby is God. Yeah. He's got the best haircut of all time. <laughs> it is confirmed. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Number four, Special Agent Dale Cooper. Moving on to number three. This is Justin's pick. This is something that I feel like is weird that it hasn't happened yet. Yeah. And our number three uh, NECA wishlist pick is Tommy Jarvis from part six, Friday yeah, the 13th, yeah, Jason Yeah, very Lewis. important that you say uh, from part six. Cause Tom Matthews. Although I do like Corey Feldman and part uh, five Tommy Jarvis. And buff, super buff <laughs> Tommy Jarvis yeah. guy. But obviously 
Part 6 Tommy Jarvis is the most popular. He's my favorite iteration of Tommy yeah. Jarvis. And he's in the new video game that you and I love and Bucky got recently. So we're going to get back into that. So excited. <clears throat> and, you know, NECA obviously loves Friday the 13th just as much that as they love Alien yeah. and Predator stuff. So it's, it's kind of surprising that they haven't made a Tommy Jarvis because there's so many Jasons, but he doesn't have anyone to fight. Yeah, or just some generic counselors in general. Maybe maybe some of the characters from the video game. Yeah, could I, was, do. I was thinking if they do Tommy Jarvis, maybe they should do. Maybe they wouldn't obviously be in the ultimate line, but maybe just make like a four pack of the counselors. Creighton, like Duke. maybe have a Chad and AJ, awesome. a Bugsy. Yeah, right. <laughs> do some Friday the Thirteenth the game characters because I feel like at this point, a lot of Friday the Thirteenth fans refer to the counselor as those names that they yeah. are in the game yeah. even though they're just kind of like archetypes <coughs> from the series yeah uh but yeah i you know he could come with a shotgun like he yeah. does in the game yeah, tommy jarvis definitely would come with the shotgun maybe since he technically kills jason in part four machete maybe yeah you know, i'm sure there's other the chain to choke Jason out. Yeah, they could just they could just repack the boulder accessory yeah. and just put it in with Tommy. Yeah, Jarvis. that's another thing is they made that accessory pack where you could put part six Jason in the chain and the boulder and pretty much have him like he's in the water. Let's have a Tommy Jarvis to go with him. Maybe he comes with the canoe. Yeah, he just comes <laughs> with the canoe, the full size <laughs> canoe. I mean, I feel like NECA would be would be crazy enough to do that. They mm -hmm. they pay attention to detail like that, so. Yeah. Tommy Jarvis, I think, is a really obvious choice. Let's get some counselors in this, mm. NECA. Let's get some counselors. Number two is a great kind of obscure movie that we talk a lot about on the channel because yeah. we want everyone to know about it. But we would want The Collector from The Collector. Marvel's Infinity War. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, Benicio Del Toro. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? We've been clamoring NECA. Magnificent. 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 Uh, all jokes aside, we're talking about The Collector from the movie The Collector slash The Collection. Mm -hmm. uh, really great horror suspense movies from the producers of Saw. Very bloody, very gory, very torturous. Yeah, the second movie is kind of like, has a lot of weird action elements to it, but yeah. it's awesome. Uh, I think he could, he could come with his machine gun that he uses. Maybe the dogs. That he unleashes on people? I mean, it, he uses like a billion different weapons right. in the first film. There's so many... In, in both movies. Yeah. He, he uses a, a myriad of weapons. Yeah, He's, so I mean, there's tons of different knives and cleavers. And but I think it would be important... The box? Yeah, exactly. Ooh, come with cool. Come with the trunk. Uh, come with like some maybe like reflective paint on his eyes. Because yeah. you know how his eyes like glisten like cats in the movie yeah, yeah. I think that would be a really cool effect. have you seen this film no no I haven't seen either of those and I actually have never seen trick-or-treat either shit but uh I revelations have, yeah I have them all like either favorited or like bookmarked on various streaming services or elsewhere and stuff so I'll be getting around to it sooner than later nice very nice uh so yeah the collector from the collector slash the collection and now our final pick, which uh, is also kind of a weird... It's weird that there were no figures made for this movie at all. And of course, our number one pick, which it's not really our number one pick because this isn't in any specific yeah, order, true. is Mia from Evil Dead, the remake. That's why. 2013. Yeah, she could 2013. Have, she could even have like a two-pack variant where she's covered in blood. And then she's, you know, saw the, in half the abomination. Right. Or she could just come with the abomination. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, yeah either or. I yeah. Think that and if would like be an awesome. maybe like if they didn't want to do that, have an interchangeable head where, where it's like regular Mia, and then the other the alternate head would be like yellow eyes. So you could make a oh, little yeah. diorama yeah. with the with the yeah have her come with <laughs> the little uh, trap door, or maybe yeah. have like and a, then you could build your own little hole. Have like the <laughs> the vines around her maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, you know what? Attachable and un, untouchable hand. Yeah, I think. Cut it off. But like, in all seriousness, the Evil Dead remake. I think it needs a it, it needs a whole line of figures because that's there's so many figurable <laughs> yeah. characters in that in that movie. That's and that's what I was that's what I was getting at. That's why I made that comment because I really do think it's strange that I feel like 
that movie is generally well accepted in the horror community. A lot of people really enjoy it, so it's really strange. I think for the most part, people like the Evil Dead remake, especially in the grand scheme of remakes. Because you can actually tell nah, no, most people I talk to. Well, most people you talk to are normie scum who know nothing about horror. Pretentious Nate. You fucking idiot. But anyway, uh, all of that aside, I think that she would make a great figure, of course, because mm -hmm. I really like her as a character. Mm -hmm. I like the struggle that she goes through. I like the bait and switch of the remake where you think that the one hero dude is going to turn out to be like the Ash archetype and then it switches to her so so glad that they made that decision too yeah get a red dress version her normal closed version maybe a little bag <clears throat> of drugs a little bag a little <laughs> sure. ba a little baggie of heroin that you can throw down the the well <laughs> throw down the uh i feel like if the evil dead remake uh, as it is would have came out a lot earlier like late 90s early 2000s mcfarlane would have had a fucking field day oh uh, totally. The character with her arm cut off and the nails all through her. That would be an awesome figure. Right. A uh, girl with, that cut her own like face off would be amazing. Like her holding like the bloody shard of glass. And, yeah. Like there's just so many uh, good figures that could come out of Battle this. Battle damaged Eric with, with removable duct tape. <laughs> and then the, the random girl from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> set on fire. Exactly. I, I feel like there's so many, there's so much possibility with the, the evil... The freaks that are down in the basement. <laughs> right. Those random people just that are just there. Yeah. But, but that's Mommy's a cult. Dead. Yeah. Mommy's death, baby. You killed him. But it is weird, though. I feel like there's a, se there's a severe lack of evil dead remake merchandise and i think a mia figure would be really awesome so that was our top five NECA wish list there pretty short episode boys pretty sure. short but uh you know what it's okay because we're gonna try and start doing episodes of figure it out more often maybe expand our horizons a little bit i don't know i don't know if you'd like comment some topics below because i'm sure there you know, go. we're gonna need some more topics because we do want to do figure it out more often and it's not just because it gets more views okay yeah it is <laughs> it's not that at all anyways guys we'd like to hear from you what are some topic suggestions from you also what are some like what are some movie characters or tv show characters that you would like to see video game make? characters video game characters yeah we could these lists can go all day this is just scratching the surface could do anything and you know what that means is we can just revisit the topic and merely milk it for the views. <laughs> Shake my hand. <laughs> of course, I'm Nate. I've been joined with Justin. See you guys later. And Steven. Adios. Of course, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you next time on Out of the Basement.